Who are you most nervous about that you've driven over with a bus and reversed? I've not purposely uh, thrown anyone on the bus. I mean, I think, you know, probably Stuart Lancaster's going to have a few strong views on what I've got to say. Maybe Martin Johnson. It's just my honest appraisal. And I was, you know, I didn't say anything at the time and I didn't feel like there was any need to say anything at the time. You know, I, in, after 2011, I didn't take part in that review. I didn't feed back to anybody because... I had my own stuff to deal with and I feel, you know, the players in both 2015, 2011 have, have responsibility. You know, coaches don't take the field, coaches don't, you know, play. And there was certainly a lot of stuff that just wasn't acceptable. So I've tried to be honest, very honest and open, but, you know, I had views on why things didn't work and, and, I've, and I've forgiven them. And the whole point of the book was not to drag stuff up. You know, there is, these, these were two important elements. You know, I, the reason I was so sad about not making 2019 is because both my World Cups experience had been absolute toilet. And, you know, the, jo the joke we talked about it is, it is if it had been, you know, a mark on my career, it'd be a big skid mark, a failure, a catastrophe wrapped up in a, in a, in a mess, you know. That's obviously Ben's very articulate wording, not mine. And that was sad. World Cup should be a super fun, super kind of, you know, massive moment. You know, both ended in, you know, one ended in, you know, almost public shame for me. Um, and, you know, and then 2015 ended, you know, very unfairly because of, you know, the way that, that, that I think the team disintegrated. But I also think that, you know, the media destroyed us. The media were looking for, to take someone like Stuart Lancaster down. And I, Stuart didn't deserve that. Stuart was worked extremely hard, was very caring. He's a lovely bloke and, you know, very impassioned about what he did. Did, did I think how he run the team, you know, was right? No. Did I think he had a horrible job? to pick, after, to pick up after 2011. Bear in mind, we were described as the worst touring side in the history of sport. We were drunken, sexual deviant, boat jumping off, lunatics, everything. And so Stuart had an impossible job. But I think he made, I think he made mistakes. My observation about those mistakes, but don't ever say that he didn't prepare that 2015 team properly. Don't ever say that he didn't work extremely hard and and work incredible hours to make that team and, and you know but I think he discovered pretty early on that it was probably 10% 10% coaching you know and 90% everything else and I think that's why Eddie's been successful because he was just a maverick and it, it could have easily gone the other way for Eddie lose the first few games all the people that he was a maverick to in such a, he's, he's not an RFU man uh, but trust me he saw what happened after one loss in a World Cup final in France Everybody was ready to bury him, but then he managed to turn it around again, and so the wheel keeps turning until next time something doesn't go well, and all the people he's upset and everything else will come out and knife him. That's, that's the sport we're in.